ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد يقول الامام ابن القيم رحمه الله بقدر همه العبد ونيته يعطيه الله سبحانه وتعالى بقدر همة العبد ونيته يعطيه الله من قيم رحمه الله said it's proportionate the help of Allah سبحانه وتعالى is proportionate to how much effort you put and how sincere your intention Abu Ishaq al-Khuwayni, he said, when I was in jail, they gave us two blankets, each one in jail. And he said it was cold at night. So he asked the guard if he can give him an extra blanket because he needs two to put on the concrete. So he said, he answered me with a saying that could be a wisdom. He told me in Arabic, Call descend based on the covers you have. And in our understanding, if, the, if you think the blanket is not enough, cold will not come more than the blanket. Yani, it's enough. He said, and I looked, and I found a hadith in this meaning that the Prophet wasallam said, وَإِنَّ الْعَوْنَ يَنْزِلُ على العبد من الله بقدر المؤونة وإن الصبر ينزل بقدر المصيبة Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم said that help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends upon us based on the hardship we have and the need we are in need for and the Patience descends from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the person based on the calamity he is stricken with. Yani if the calamity is hard, patience will be given more patience. And if it's less, less. If the need is less, then the help is less. And if the need is more, the help is more. SubhanAllah, reflecting on that, what what is what is the uh, the criteria in this like what is the decisive factor in that it is talab al ma'una to ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help to be connected with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when you understand the meaning of la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah you cannot change, you cannot move, you cannot even serve yourself without Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The more you're connected with that, the more you can understand this hadith and how it is applied. And if you reflect on our time and past time, I, we all know that our moms, I'm talking about people over 60, you can relate. They used to, I mean, I remember my mother, she used to wash everything for nine people on hand. Now you have one family with one kid, or probably no kids, an automatic machine, and you find 
Sometimes they find more clothes to wear because it's all dirty. And what's the excuse? I don't have time. Same thing with dishes and dishwashers. Same thing with cooking. Same thing with children. If we reflect a little bit on ourselves and see that the person has five children and six children and the wife is taking well good care of them food and clothes and dressed and uh, nursing and she could probably be pregnant and nursing at the same time and travel with them and manage them and everything. Now you see a couple with one child running back and forth, they don't know what to do. Or traveling with one child, I cannot handle this. I can't, you need to get this. And you just reflect on that. Wallahi, sometimes, yani you could say, angels were sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to our mothers and grandmothers to help them with what they were doing. If you compare their life with the life of people nowadays. And this is an exact fulfillment of this hadith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when, when, when the mother takes care of her children and do all of that out of love for her husband and love for her children and obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, obviously Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to aid her, going to help her with this reliance and all of that. And nowadays we are missing all those yani, Islamic principles and reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sincerity to the uh, family and to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the dedication that we, have, uh, we used to have, it's missing nowadays. So you find the trouble that people have, they cannot connect, they cannot talk, they cannot work, they cannot help. And it's so basic, I mean, because when you live a life before and you see how it was, and you see people now, you just look and you go, what kind of people are these? Looks like they're from different, you know, the other day I was looking at uh, you, young, 25, 26 years old, yesterday. They're dripping with a basketball. I mean, they look out of space. They can, can hardly walk, can hardly walk, can hardly do anything. You, I mean young, at that time if you tell a person right now, uh, nowadays if you tell a person to climb a tree, it would take him a year before he manages that. So the, the way the life is, is just taking every goodness out of our youth, men and women, and their dedication to their religion, their dedication to their family, uh, the husband for his wife and the wife to her husband, they work as a team. He does this and she does that. Uh, it's, it's so missing because of our distance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number one, I, I attribute every problem we have, our distance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because if you look at anything missing, it is because you're not following the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we are not giving the guidance and we are not receiving the help that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would help based on that. When every person is working hard and doing what they're supposed to do, even if it's over their burden, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will compensate that with his help and it becomes. Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah said, sometimes you look at a person who is inflicted with a calamity and you see like this is too much, it's above than what he can handle. But me and you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never burden someone more. So they asked him, how do you reconciliate with that? He said, what you see is a hundred pounds on that person who is able to carry only 50. You see a hundred, but he's actually carrying 50. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is carrying the other 50. Because we only can see, we don't feel. You come to the person and you tell him, how are you? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. You need, no, 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 Alhamdulillah. Anab khair, anab na'ma. He's commanding, he's praising, he is, he is. And to you, he's overburdened. How is that? It's the connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's apply the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on ourselves, men and women, and let's
let's live like the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us. The man provides. The man provides, not the woman. The man, the man, the man. You are a man, so you can work, so you can earn, and you can serve and take care. And the wife works and raise children, raise the generation. Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah, his mom is the one who raised him. Imam Malik the same, Allah and Imam the same. At five years old, she dedicated him for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to go learn the religion and everything. These are the mothers that we can really dream of and look up to, to understand how we can have scholars or people in whom you can trust and rely on. It's the mother who raises that color. The father is not home usually. He's outside working and earning and striving and everything to provide. If our daughters or our girls are not well educated on that, we would never have any knowledgeable scholars like the way we have before. If the mother is not who is going to drive her children, to connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the father comes and makes sure this is done and supervises that. You can be a manager or not in the store somewhere else but you come back and you check and you make sure everything is running fine and you go on. This is how a family runs and this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants the family. He gave everyone his designated area where to be and how to do it. And at any time of need, you can offer that need. But you know your place and that's what you are going to be questioned about the day of judgment before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help and always apply the teachings of the religion you will do. Fine, and you get what you need. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.